Hey, I need some shoes. Anybody here? And that's the bottom line. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Reno, Nevada at Global Goods with WWE Hall of Famer and pop culture icon, Stone Cold Steve Austin. How you doing? Good to be here. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. We shall see. Let's go. Steve, we'll get to A6 and Brooks, but first off, like early 2000s, you were big into shocks. There's like some classic photos of you from that era, and it was like these. Do you remember wearing these? I do remember these, and at that time, this was the latest, greatest technology that mankind had to offer yes. in a tennis shoe, so I figured it needed to be on the bottom of my foot. And they didn't make me run any faster. <laughs> they didn't make me... Uh, jump any higher yeah. i don't think they smoothed my walk out any yeah. but they were cool and they look good so yeah i was digging them back in but these days not so much okay the technology came out in 2000 and it's like i found a classic photo at the cauliflower alley club you your boy jr and bret hart yeah and then you see the shocks the bottom oh yeah it was the thing you know when hanging out with bret hart you know he was the guy that really helped put me on the map yeah with the match at wrestlemania 13 uh, all the feuding we did, yeah. and of course, uh, a close personal friend, but mm -hmm. Jim Ross, obviously the way he called my matches, yes. uh, great great to spend time with those people, and I was repping by wearing the greatest technology known to man at the time. Exactly, and to be honest, all the comments of that photo are like, oh, three legends, th three legends, and then some were like, yo, Stone Cold had the shocks on, Stone Cold had the shocks on, so people were, were noticing that you had the shocks in that photo. Yeah, but when I look at some of the episodes you guys have been doing, I'm way not up to speed with everybody else's uh, shoe game that's okay but I was doing what I could do yes we're in a store like this and there's like vintage t-shirts in here and the Stone Cold brand is it crazy for you to see like so many vintage t-shirts even some kids that may not have even known the Attitude Era they're wearing the t-shirts it's yeah. like it reminds me a lot of kind of like Dennis Rodman you see young kids who never saw him play with his face on on the t-shirts and same thing for you yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, my niece is going to law school in New York City. She just passed the bar. Congratulations. And she was out getting coffee one day, and they were at a vintage st store. Yeah. And she had to, she came across a Stone Cold t-shirt, and they wanted uh, like almost $300 for it. And the owner said <laughs> if she could prove that I was her uncle, she would give her a discount wow, on the shirt. Wow, love so that. It is amazing to, to find these things still around. Absolutely. And I should have stocked up on those because it's better than being uh, invested in stocks right now. Exactly. You bring them here, you flip them, you make a, a pretty penny. To that point, the Stone Cold branding, the slogans, the face was everywhere during the Attitude Era. It's a different time than now, but did you ever get approached for like a footwear deal? Was it like that back then or no? Well, not so much, but then there was one company, it was the high techs, the Magnums that I was okay. wearing. Yes. And I was stomping mud holes in people and walking them dry. And I can't remember how I started wearing those things, whether I bought them on my own or they had sent them up to the office. And I tried them on and it was, I, I was in love. Yeah. So I love the way those boots feel. And I still wear those today when I'm out riding side by sides or I'm going hunting yeah. for three days. That's what I wear. Yeah. So, and back in the day, they approached my agent. Well, they approached me and they said, hey, we'd like to, you know, have Steve as a brand ambassador mm -hmm. and, you know, do a sponsorship with him. And then they had an amount of money. Yeah. And my agent at the time, you always think that your agent is smarter than you. <laughs> and they said, Steve, I think this is a good deal, but we ought to hold out and see if Nike comes at you instead. Ooh, okay. And I was like, well, okay, this is the agent, so he's supposed to be smarter than me. Yes. So we didn't do the deal with high tech. And then, as nothing happened with Nike, I, you know, I went back and I'm like, you know, when was Nike yes. ever going to make a badass boot made yes. for a madass wrestler yeah. who is kicking the hell out of everybody on TV? <laughs> they don't and they didn't. And so they didn't. my agent blew the deal and I'll never forget that. Wow. Did, so it didn't happen. The, the Magnum didn't happen. No, because we're going to wait on the next bigger See? deal. But you got to start somewhere. <laughs> and that's key to everybody. That's why I give everybody that advice. Crazy. Sometimes you got to go by your gut. Yes. Me and high tech was a match made in heaven. Wow. Well, maybe after this, you never know. They come back. Yeah, yeah we'll see. In 2016, you come back to WrestleMania. You come in, you're wearing jeans and Asics. You stun Xavier Woods. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, Xavier is the one who got the wrath that night. It might have been, might have been more, but like again, online, everyone's like Stone Cold's wearing Asics. Stone Cold's wearing Asics. We talked about the Magnum deal. Did you ever think of Asics or Brooks as a deal? 
Well, you know, I kind of w- went off the Nikes, got into the Asics, mm-hmm. and then segued into the Brooks. That's yeah. pretty much what I wear exclusively now. The biggest thing I saw was people felt that I shouldn't be wearing tennis shoes, that, that it didn't fit. The I Stone Cold persona. I don't know because I saw a lot of like Stone Cold killing it in the Asics and the jeans, so I don't know. Well, see, I didn't get that on the fashion side. Uh, okay. I, got, I got the Stone Cold purists who was just used to seeing me in the black boots. Yes. So that was the feedback I got. So, no, it was cool to see the people that stepped up my game a little bit. Yeah. I dig the Asics brand. <laughs> we go back a long way. I've worn them for many years. I still got a couple pairs of them mm-hmm. as workout shoes. But yeah, I moved on to the Brooks. But I, I never knew, that, you know, because I've watched all your episodes. Appreciate but it. But I never knew the shoe game. What people took it so seriously. Crazy. And I just like, I like a good pair of kicks. Yep. But it's not the be all end all for me. And that's the thing. Like now, we see so many wrestlers in sneakers, and they're competitive about that. Back then, could you have seen like? Sneaker culture in the locker room where like oh, I'm rest. I got the new Jordans to wrestle and it's it's different now I think the sneaker culture is cool in wrestling, but for for me, you know Traditional guy. Yeah, you know start off as a technical wrestler turned into a brawler wouldn't have fit my style Of course Cena comes first to my mind. Yeah, when I'm thinking about sneakers yes. in the wrestling game And he really went over the top with it and so many others have followed that suit and and maybe some more before him. Got it. And and like I said, it's like we have these episodes with some wrestlers and they'll claim, you know, I we started and the comments are like, Cena started, Shane McMahon, even like the the killer bees, I think, like there were so many. But Cena, I remember the Reebok pumps, obviously. He was heavy on that and and that was definitely early in, in terms of like sneaker culture and wrestling crossing over. Well, it's also a deal where when you think who really started what, Mm -hmm. you know, when you think about the ladder match, you always think of Brett Sean. Yeah. But Brett, and and probably someone else, but Brett was having ladder matches way, way, way back before that. Right. And going to the John Cena thing, when he started pumping the things up, I was like, Cena's really working for a a sneaker deal here. Because it turned into a thing, and the crowd got behind it. Absolutely. And he's one of those guys, you know, what a tremendous career he had. And affected so many people. Absolutely. Steve, I want to talk about Damian Lillard. He has an Adidas deal. He did a Stone Cold special makeup of his shoe, put Dame 316 on it. What's it like to see some of these star athletes? Stephon Diggs had cleats. He was like one of the best wide receivers in the game. He had custom cleats by a great customizer, Mosh. What's it like to see these athletes paying homage? To you. Flattering. Yeah. Totally flattering. I mean, you know, to see these, you know, premier athletes mm-hmm. re- remember a guy, you know, because, you know, I came into my, you know, hot spot from, you know, like 96 through whatever, 03. Mm-hmm. So a long time ago. Yeah. And for these guys to still remember that, I guess that means I impacted their life, Absolutely. you know, in such a way that, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're paying homage. Definitely. Or paying tribute. So uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, and I respect them back. Another person young kid in the crowd first row in the crowd he has the flip phone and he's taping you and then let 2021 he's wearing the lebron 316 shirt another person who really pays homage and it's like internet fame the little flip phone picture of him in the crowd like mesmerized by you what's it like to see lebron showing love i've forgotten so many things but i remember that vividly yeah i was in the ring and he had that flip phone out just like you said and he was taking pictures and you know he was he was basketball. I mean, every, you know, everything was about LeBron, and you know, he's about to really get going yeah. and take over the sport. And to see him out there to, you know, be at a WWE event and, you know, be a fan of Stone Cold was yes. very flattering. And, and at the time, you know, I was in character, man. And when I'm in character, all I'm doing is turning a dial up. That's, right. that's not a gimmick. That's me. Yeah. And I wouldn't go out there and shake his hand and, yep. you know, slap him on the back. But I couldn't do that. Couldn't break character. All these years for him to bust out the LeBron 316 shirt. Very cool. Amazing. Yeah. Did you ever think of owning a pair of Jordans? No, I just no. love watching you play basketball okay. because it's like, I played basketball in seventh and eighth grade. When I got into high school, I knew football was going to be where I needed to go. Yes. I had a pair of basketball shoes back in the day, but mm-hmm. it wasn't a thing. And I, I couldn't just, you know, throw on a pair of three quarter or high tops and just, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't my thing. Maybe today, maybe today's the day, first pair of Jordans, we never know, we'll see. If you give me some advice and tell me what what, what, what is what is a cool thing to do, because yeah. I'm in a process, I'm in a stage right now where I'm kind of downsized a little bit. So okay. I don't need a bunch of stuff just hanging around. Okay. So I got to be very choosy today. All right, we're going to do it. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see where you're going to take home. 
I love it's the easy part because there's so much cool stuff in here and you know stuff that maybe you know I, I'm not familiar with but maybe with a little guidance we'll see what I can do. We're gonna figure it out. Let's do it. What's up, Steve? How you doing, man? Did you see anything that you wanted today? I think I do. Uh, okay. I'm a little out of my element, but I do see a couple of things I like. I like these because white shoes on me make me look fast. Beautiful. I'm not so much a fan of black tennis shoes, okay. although I love black boots, but this one catches my eye That's for some good, reason. Good, so good shoe. Really going out of my comfort zone, but All something right. that draws my eye to them. These right here. Ooh, the Del Sar 13. I'm digging the yellow. Yes. And my wife gets mad at me for, for pronouncing the word like that. I don't say yellow. Yeah. I'll take the white and yellow ones. Awesome, man. I know I'm getting a lot of Jordans, yep. uh, but Kobe is one of my all-time favorites. Do Absolutely. you have anything from Kobe? I do. I'm going to bring them to the register for you. I we got you. Did you find everything you need today? Yeah, I did, but they were going to show me something from Kobe. Yep. Kobe, undefeated, pulled these out of the back for you. These are the ones we mentioned. See, these are cool. Yeah. And Kobe was such an inspiration to so many people. I gotta have something from him, so I will take these as well. All right, let's do it. Total is $1,883.81. That's the most I spent on shoes in my entire life. <laughs> All right. Let's get you dragged up. You gotta start making bigger bags. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. So you. Much. Have a good one. You too. So, Stone Cold came through, told some great stories, got some new sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Make sure everyone checks out what's going on with the Steve Austin brand. Always relevant, always strong. Thank you. And that's the bottom line.